Pearl Harbor is an American base, but this corner of it is all China. The first thing that hits you about the Chinese ships here is how new they are. The Xi'an has only been in service about a year, and this class of destroyer is the first with a fully long-range air defense capability. And the captain is honored by his leadership role. Uh, command ship of uh, all fleets, oh, my uh, Chinese, uh, China Navy fleet, uh, I'm very proud, proud of this, yeah. But perhaps the piece of kit that the Chinese are most proud of is this, a submarine rescue vehicle. This can actually rescue sailors at a depth of half a kilometre under the sea. It's going to be part of an exercise with the US to hone the skills of both Navy should a disaster happen to any submarine in the Pacific Rim. I think it's a chance for our PRA to show our ability for rescue, uh, submarine rescue. So I think uh, it's a way for us to study a lot of uh, information from the International Navy and also it's a chance for us to show. This submarine rescue ship, the Changdao, is also very new, entering service in 2013. That's the same year the Gao Yuhu supply ship entered service. Its captain, Wan Lim, has had multiple missions resupplying Chinese ships on UN anti-piracy patrols off the Gulf of Aden. As China's commitments grow, more ships like this that provide everything from fuel to food will be needed. Completing the Chinese fleet here in Hawaii, the missile frigate Hong Shui, again just a few years old, and the one ship here that was at the last impact two years ago is the hospital ship, the Peace Ark complete with rescue pods, operating theatres and intensive care unit, the centrepiece of China's humanitarian and rescue capabilities. And the big gun here on the deck of the Xi'an, which is really leads this group of five ships and is the epitome of a modernisation of the Chinese Navy that is well underway and showing off here what it's capable of at RIMPAC 2016 in the 21st century. Nathan King, CCTV, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii.